If you've decided you want to ditch those annoying wires in favor of wireless headphones, there are a number of things to consider. The first thing you'll need to decide is what form factor you prefer. Do you want over-ear headphones, on-ear headphones, or in-ear headphones? Before we get started with our video detailing the best wireless headphones on the market, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting off with the best overall wireless headphones, we have the Sennheiser Momentum 2.0. Which Bluetooth headphones should you get if you want the best of the best? In our testing, the best wireless headphones money can buy are the Sennheiser Momentum 2.0 wireless over-ear headphones. There are a number of things that make these headphones so good. For starters, they look beautiful. The headphones are built with premium leather, along with a strong metal frame and rustic look. It's a great combination. But the build doesn't just make them good looking, it also makes them nice and strong. While the headphones do have an over-ear design, they are somewhat portable. They fold up and fit into a nice strong case, which is included in your purchase. The case is great for those of you who want to take your cans on the go. The Sennheiser headphones are comfortable too. They have a nice memory foam in the ear cups, and while we would have liked to see a little more foam in the headband, that's not a deal breaker by any means. Then there's the sound, which is the highlight of these headphones. The Sennheiser wireless over-ear headphones boast a deep, rich low-end, along with a well-tuned and accurate mid-range, and crisp high-end. They also have noise cancellation, and while it's a little annoying that you can't deactivate it if you want, it will help keep that extra noise out so you can listen to your music in peace. We're not the only ones who love the Sennheiser Momentum 2.0 wireless headphones. They scored 9 out of 10 in a review from Headphone Review, and their predecessor scored a 9 out of 10 on Trusted Review, and 4 out of 5 on CNET. The main downside to these headphones is that they're not cheap. To get them, you'll need to shell out a cool $350 to $500, but if you do, you won't be sorry. Next up, we have the best noise-canceling wireless headphones, which goes to the Bose QuietComfort 35. Bose is a powerhouse in the headphone world, and has been especially successful when it comes to noise-canceling headphones. In our testing, the headphones with the best noise cancellation technology are the Bose QuietComfort 35 headphones. When these cans are on, the noise cancellation is almost eerie. The headphones aren't just great for noise cancellation, they're extremely comfortable and sound great too. Sure, the design isn't all that interesting, but for most people that doesn't matter as much as the noise cancellation technology and sound quality. If you're into customizing your cans to suit your personality, you can design your own headphones on Bose's website. The Bose QuietComfort 35 headphones also come with everything you'll need to take them on planes and around town, including a nice carrying case, plane adapter, and an aux cable for when you want to use them in wired mode. Speaking of which, wired mode is, unfortunately, the only time you can use these headphones without noise cancellation on. There's no switch to turn it off when they're connected through Bluetooth. Plenty of reviewers loved the headphones besides us. Trusted Reviews gave them a 9 out of 10, CNET gave them a 4.5 out of 5, and Headphone Review gave them a 9 out of 10. They are a little pricey, coming in at $299 to $350 but paying that will get you the best noise-canceling headphones around. Up next, we have the best on-ear wireless headphones, which go to the AKG N60NC. Looking for something a little more portable than the over-ear Sennheiser wireless headphones, the AKG N60NC wireless headphones could be the ones for you. The headphones feature a super sleek design, with a black and silver color scheme, along with an on-ear form factor, which makes them a lot more portable than over-ear headphones. They're made even more portable with their swiveling ear cups, which help the headphones fit nice and snugly in the included carrying bag. The AKG N60NC headphones are comfortable too. There's a good amount of memory foam in both the ear cups and the headband. The best thing about these headphones, however, is that they sound great. There's a ton of low-end frequencies, though the bass doesn't go overboard. The high frequencies are nice and clear too, which helps the music sound crisp. Next is the fact that these headphones also feature noise cancellation that's better than you'll find on many other headphones. It's not quite as good as the Bose QuietComfort 35's tech, but it's good nonetheless. The headphones aren't perfect. In the pair we tested, there was a small amount of Bluetooth noise, which came in the form of a very faint buzzing in the background. You couldn't hear it while music was playing, but it was a little annoying. Others liked the N60 NC wireless headphones too. They scored 8.7 out of 10 on headphone review, the Verge also liked them during their preview, PC Mag gave them 4 out of 5 stars, and Time also praised them. The headphones are a little pricey at $150, but more affordable than our top pick. Next we have the best wireless headphones for less than $150, which goes to the JBL E55BT. 
Looking to buy a great pair of Bluetooth headphones on a budget? Just because you don't have a ton of cash doesn't mean you can't get some great headphones. In our testing, the JBL E55BT headphones are the best headphones under $150. For starters, unlike plenty of other headphones, these come with a very fun design. You can get them in a ton of colors, including red, black, blue, green, and white. They also fold up, so they're somewhat portable and can be taken on the go. The headphones don't just look good, they sound good too. They could use a little more in the high mids frequency range, but apart from that, they offer plenty of bass and a crisp, concise high end, which makes for some great sounding music. They're on the better end of the spectrum with battery life too. A single charge will get you 20 hours of listening time. The headphones have reviews like the 4 out of 5 rating on PC Mag at 8.1 out of 10 on Headphone Review. And as mentioned, the JBL E55 BT headphones are relatively cheap, with an original price of $149.95. At the time of the video, they were on sale for $109.95 on Amazon. Next, we have the best wireless headphones for great sound, which goes to the Master & Dynamics MW50. The best Bluetooth headphones need to sound great, feel nice, and look good, especially since they'll command a high price. Thankfully, Master & Dynamic delivered with the MW50. From the first time you put them on, you'll appreciate their feel, and things will only improve when you actually start listening to music. Because music has to get compressed when sent wirelessly from your phone to your Bluetooth headphones, you end up losing little details that make songs special. No Bluetooth headphones, at least not right now, will give you every nuance you'll hear with a high-end pair of wired ones, but the MW50's performance is excellent. I was able to pick up on sonic subtleties that would get lost or sound muddy on lesser pairs, and that was true regardless of what I was listening to. Music encoded at a lower bitrate would sound worse but that was more a matter of the MW50's exposing flaws in the files, rather than making them sound that way. There is a new version of this pair of headphones, which has newer Bluetooth connectivity standards, but you'll pay a bit more for them at $399, as opposed to $295.99. Second from last, we have the best wireless headphones for less than $50, which goes to the iFrog's Impulse Duo. These iFrog's headphones made the best earbuds guide, so I'm just going to echo what I said there below. Besides sounding pretty good for the price, the reason the iFrog's Impulse Duo earbuds made the cut over all the other budget models I've tried is their design. The dual driver construction is what gives these earbuds an audio edge over the competition. But mostly, these earbuds succeed where most Bluetooth models fail. Instead of having all of their technology built into the unwieldy dongle that hangs off the cable connecting both buds, iFrog's built it all into a magnetic clip. Clip the dongle onto your clothes, pop in the earbuds, and you're ready to listen to music. In terms of audio quality, you shouldn't expect a truly audiophile experience for less than $50, but don't expect a bad one either. These are actually the upgraded version of the earbuds iFrogs released last year, and while the design is the same, time was spent improving the sound quality. I'll put it to you this way, these headphones are so easy to use and sound good enough that they're my go-to pair between reviews. It's just so convenient to coil them up and pop them in my pocket after a commute, or once my friends finally make it to our meeting place. Now for our last pick, we have the best wireless headphones for travelers, which is the Sony WH-1000XM3. Noise cancelling is becoming a common feature for many Bluetooth headphones, and for good reason. It's nice to block out the rest of the world during your morning commute, or to block out the screaming kid in front of you on the plane. Sony's headphones have the best noise cancellation of any headphones, Bluetooth or otherwise, that I've ever tested. On a plane ride from New York to San Francisco, the only thing I heard was the music I put on. Without any music, the noise cancelling feature was able to block out a lot of ambient noise, which should also appeal to you if you're looking to sleep en route to your destination. This pair of headphones also has a few smart features, thanks to touch controls on the right ear cup. Placing your hand on the ear cup activates the microphone, letting you hear noise, like a pilot's announcement, while lowering your music. As someone who put this feature to the test while traveling, it was surprisingly useful. Noise cancelling aside, these headphones are comfortable to wear for extended periods of time and sound very good overall. The audio quality wasn't as high as some other pairs I've heard, but noise cancelling actually does color the sound a little bit. Still, it's a fair trade-off for such a nice feature. So that sums up our top wireless headphones of 2019. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.